Hi, I'm Harper from New Jersey. Please like and subscribe. I live with a single mother who worked as a housekeeper at a five-star hotel. Things were very tough for us since mom wasn't that educated, and she pinned all of her hopes on me. One day, you'll become just like that lady in the poster, and that's the day I'll finally be happy. Yeah, mom, I'll try my best. Trying is not enough, Harper. You must do everything to get into a good college and be successful. I was a straight A student and I wanted to make her proud, but sometimes the pressure was just too much. The only things that helped me through my childhood were my best friend Lucas and my music. I loved singing and Lucas always told me I had a beautiful voice, but I knew mom would never let me pursue singing as a career. One night I was preparing for a scholarship test at one of the finest schools in the city when Lucas tapped on my window. Your favorite band's playing tonight. Come on, let's go. No way, I have that scholarship test, remember? I thought we decided not to do that. What am I gonna do alone in school? Don't be like this. You know it's always been my dream. Your dream or your mom's? Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't hold your breath. As Lucas left, I was so bummed out by how he'd reacted. I thought he'd be okay soon, but he didn't return my calls the entire next week. Meanwhile, I'd gotten in and started school soon after. And boy, this new place made me super nervous. It was massive, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the kids eating caviar for breakfast. I really missed having Lucas around, so I pulled out my phone to call him. But just then, this random boy ran straight into me, knocking me to the ground. What the heck? I missed that catch. I bet a thousand dollars on that one. Excuse me, you broke my phone. It would cost me a bomb to fix that. Quit yelling, girl. Do you need money? There. He pushed a bunch of dollar bills into my hand. What the heck? Keep your money, moron. Buy some manners with it. The boy looked at me confused and then grinned. You're new around here, right? What's your name? I'm Zane. Skip the introductions. I'd rather not run into you again. I walked away to my class without turning back. Later, someone told me that Zane was crazy rich and the most popular guy in school. His dad owned all the major properties in town, including the hotel mom worked in. I couldn't give a fig. I had bigger plans than wasting my time on some jerk. The rest of the day was just as bad. I was way behind in class, and people were so rude when I tried asking for help. I was so tired that when I went home, I passed out straight away, only to wake up to 40 missed calls from mom. She'd broken her ankle in a minor accident at the hotel and couldn't work for a month. What are we gonna do? With your new school and everything, we need the money. Don't worry, Mom. We'll figure something out. That night, I applied to every part-time job I could find online and prayed something would turn up soon. I felt so relieved when Lucas called me and decided to meet for dinner. How have you been? What went wrong, man? I, I tried calling you so many times. Lucas looked at me weirdly before taking my hand. I... I was trying to fight my feelings for you. I've liked you for so long now, Harper. I was just upset I won't be seeing you at school every day. Wow, that's a lot. I had no idea, and I, I don't know. Wait, please. Could we just give it a shot and see where this goes? I guess, but what if it doesn't work out? I don't want to lose you as a friend. I promise, you won't. Lucas beamed at me, but I was still unsure if this was a good call. But dating your best friend couldn't be the worst thing, right? Besides, he was kind of cute now, and I noticed it. I got a call from a small cafe nearby. They were looking for a singer and wanted me to come over for a trial. The pay was decent, so I took it. But at my first show, I saw Zane behind the guitar, and it looked like he didn't remember me. Wasn't he too rich to be playing here? I ignored him and hopped on the stage. But when we started performing, he kept changing the tune mid-song. I never wanna be without you. When you're with me, there's nothing I can't do. Let's make a life just me and you. What are you doing? But he simply grinned. Thankfully, I knew how to match the pitch and the show was successful. The manager even gave me a huge tip. After everything was done, I was walking back home when a big sports car pulled up. Hop in, I'll drop you home. I'd rather walk on fire than go with you. I ignored him and continued walking. To my surprise, he got out of his car and started walking with me. This guy was so annoying. Mind-numbingly handsome, but so annoying. We started walking in silence and we were halfway home when I finally spoke. Aren't you too rich to be in this neighborhood? Aren't you too nosy for such a small person? Stop that. What? Stop following me. I'm just walking. I'm sure you don't own this road. I was so irritated that I turned around fast 
and would have ended up in a puddle if Zane hadn't caught my sweater. As he pulled me up, our lips almost touched. Oh my god, my heart was ready to jump out of my chest. There now, you're all safe. Huh? Um, whatever. Thanks. I'm fine now. I will see you whatever. Bye. With that, I rushed home with my heart pounding. What was happening? After that day, I tried everything to ignore Zane, but he was stuck in my head like a broken record. I couldn't think straight. When we were both selected for the annual music gala, I knew I was in big trouble. Back home, Lucas was planning a weekend getaway. He went kind of crazy when I told him I had to stay. It's my birthday. You can't ditch me like that. You should have asked me first. I really can't go. He looked so disappointed that I promised to go to dinner with him that night to make up for it. But when we arrived, I noticed Zane there with a girl. Uh, can we go somewhere else? I don't feel too good. What happened? You were fine just now when we came in. Yeah, but I guess I'm allergic to the air conditioning here. Lucas looked confused, but just as we turned to leave, I saw Zane smiling at me. Leaving so soon? We didn't get a table. Then take ours. Tiffany and I were just leaving, right babe? The girl looked at Zane and kissed him on the cheek. For some reason, I didn't like that one bit. Lucas noticed it because later that night as he was dropping me home, he asked me, Who was that guy? And why did you lie to him? <sighs> just some jerk from my school. I didn't lie, I just didn't tell him the truth. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. Don't sweat it, it's nothing. Anyway, it's getting late. I'll see you around. Lucas looked at me suspiciously as I left before it got more awkward. The following day in school, I texted Zane to meet me in the music room. When he showed up, I couldn't help but notice the small scar on the side of his face. That wasn't there before. So, should we head to the back row? What? Why would we go there? Suddenly, I understood what he meant and kicked him hard in the knee. You're gross. I would never make out with you. Uh, the back row is where they keep all the instruments? Oh my god, so embarrassing. And plus, I have a boyfriend, remember? And you have a girlfriend? Just then, Zane bent down to my ear and brushed a strand of hair away. Tiffany is not my girlfriend, just a first date. So we could totally do the other thing too, if you want. I just looked at him as my mind went all foggy. Why did he suddenly look even hotter? And why was I staring at his lips? Ahem, <clears throat> Harper. I turned around to see <gasps> Lucas standing behind me, looking kind of pissed. Lucas, what are you doing here? You forgot your lunch, so your mom asked me to give it to you. But I'm glad I came, or I wouldn't have known what you're actually up to. That's not fair. We were just having a discussion. Yeah, chill out, dude. What's the big deal? Isn't he the same guy from yesterday? Yeah, Zane and I were... Save it. We're done. Lucas left angrily, and I just stood there wondering how to clean up this mess. He'd never looked so mad in all my years of knowing him, and this was so unlike him. Later that night, I decided to surprise Lucas with his favorite cake, but he refused to see me. I called him and texted him, but he just didn't respond. At that moment, I knew things would never be the same between us. This dating thing had been such a mistake. I was so beaten up by the whole thing that I got a D on my test. Wow, I did better than you. How did that happen? Go away, Zane. I can't deal with you right now. Oh my god, what's that? What? A frown? On your forehead? What happened to the firecracker? I smiled as Zane took my hand, and I didn't protest this time. Come with me. I know how to cheer you up. We went around the school to get to the back gate, and he asked me to wait a bit. Suddenly, a bunch of cute kittens purred at our feet as Zane fed them milk. This was a side of him I never knew. As we played around with the cats, I noticed the scar again. What happened to your face? Zane quickly covered it with his hand. Nothing. Let's get going. It was obvious he didn't want to say more, so I didn't ask. After that day, we started hanging out more often. He would leave small notes on my desk with sweet lyrics, and we would talk about music for hours. Do you think Miley Cyrus is better than Ariana Grande? What was Freddie Mercury's real name? Because this one doesn't sound right. It was amazing. Of course, I missed Lucas, but he still wasn't answering my calls. I felt bummed out, but I couldn't force him to talk to me. One night after wrapping up a show at the cafe, I was headed back home when I saw Zane by his car and he was shouting at his phone. You can't do that to me. He cut the call when he saw me. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hear that. Are you okay? I'm fine, sorry. I'm just dealing with some stuff. Are you headed home? Let me drop you off. I sat in his car, but on our way, he stopped at a point with the view of the city. Mind if we could sit here for five minutes? I nodded and sat next to him on the car's hood. I'd never seen him this sad or vulnerable before. 
You were asking me about that scar, right? I got it while I was sneaking out to play a gig, and I got caught. When Dad heard, he threw my guitar away. He hates that I chose music over business. Is that why you play at that small cafe? Yeah. It's the only place he'd never expect to find me. I know what you mean. Sometimes parents don't understand how much pressure they put on our shoulders. Suddenly, I felt his hands on mine and my heart went racing. I knew that I was falling for him. Hard. He looked at me and started leaning closer. When my phone rang frantically, it was mom, and she told me that Lucas's dad was in the hospital. I rushed to find him sitting on the bench outside and quietly sat down next to him. We waited for a while before the doctor cleared his dad to go home. Thanks for being here tonight. Of course. So what if things didn't work out between us? You're still my best friend. What? What do you mean? Are you breaking up with me? You broke up with me that day, Lucas. You said we're done. And I completely understand why you did that. Maybe we're better off as friends. I was angry. Tell me, it's because of that boy, right, Zane? No, he's just a friend. I've told you that. I've seen you two. I'm not blind. But let me tell you this. Guys like Zane won't think twice about dropping you like a dead fly. He's rich, and you're just a dumb singer. Oh, wait. You're not even that, because your crazy mom won't let you do that either. Suddenly, I saw Red and slapped Lucas hard. You want to insult me? Fine. But don't you dare say a word about my mom. I said we could be friends, but after this? Forget it. I stormed away, leaving Lucas alone. How could my best friend be such a bitter jerk? When I reached home, I burst into tears as mom asked me what had happened, and I ended up telling her everything. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry for putting you through this. You should have just told me, but it's my fault. It's okay, mom, I know you meant well. Chase your dreams, baby. I'll always be here for you. Hearing mom say that made me feel so much better. A few days later, I learned that Lucas had left the city, and even though it broke my heart, he wasn't the same person anymore. So I made peace with it. I was finally able to practice for the gala with all of my heart, thanks to mom, and Zane was by my side the entire time. As I was getting ready on the big day, a team member broke some shocking news to me. Zane had texted the event manager to let him know that he wouldn't be able to attend. When I tried calling him, his phone was out of reach. I had a lot of thoughts as I walked onto the stage, but I shoved them aside as I picked up the guitar and gave the performance of my life. Thanks to Zane, I was familiar with the chords, and when I was done, the crowd erupted in huge applause. I was so proud of myself, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something bad had happened to Zane. So right after the show, I rushed to his house, where I saw him in the middle of a party with his dad and some serious-looking people. When he saw me, he rushed and pulled me to the side. What are you doing here? You missed our show for this party? You don't understand anything, Harper. Just leave. I know it's difficult, but you need to stand up for yourself someday. Your dreams matter. Zane looked at me and suddenly, he smiled. And then, he stepped up to the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement. One, I'm gonna leave this boring party. Two, I'm done, Dad. I'm gonna go to France to pursue a career in music. And you can keep your business. While Zane's dad looked like he saw a ghost, he stepped down and pulled me to the side. How does the back entrance sound? How about we be bold for once? I kissed him and he kissed me back, and it was magical. If you believe in your passion, no one can stop you from rising. 